The United Kingdom and the United States have enjoyed a strong alliance for more than a century. But there's growing discontent in England about how the U.S. has handled the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Ed Boyle has more in our London comment. Three months ago, your president was asked to send 40,000 extra troops to Afghanistan by General McChrystal, the man in charge of operations. Next week, so we hear, a deployment somewhat less than that will be announced. But to many on this side of the water, that news has been too long a coming. British support for American military policy used to be a given. You said jump, and we just jumped, willingly and without complaint. This week, however, even the minister in charge of British troops has been bemoaning President Obama's delay out loud. I quote his words, it has hampered efforts to retain public backing for this war. Every week in Afghanistan brings new casualties. Every day the seeds of doubt are sown in the public mind. Not that they actually needed much sowing. We do not like to watch our soldiers die in the name of supporting and defending a visibly corrupt regime. And this week, these raw public emotions have been underlined by a stream of revelations from a new public inquiry into Britain's role in the Iraq War. Millions of us here distrusted Tony Blair's motives for following George W. Bush in, in his mission to destroy Saddam Hussein. We were told at the time that Saddam had weapons of mass destruction, but we now learn from the inquiry that the intelligence was limited and patchy and that years earlier British officials had ruled out going for regime change in Iraq because it would have been against international law. Now that, of course, was well before 9-11 and before George Bush began beating the drum so loud. Was there a real link between Iraq and Al-Qaeda? The top British advisers who've so far given testimony say it wasn't at all likely, yet off we marched into Baghdad and Basra, shoulder to shoulder, relying on spurious allegations and against the advice of our own experts. Iraq was a shabby model for the special relationship between our two countries. We just did what we were told, and it looks like we may have done wrong. Meantime, President Obama has had to pick up the international pieces left by his predecessor. And as he prepares to announce how many extra troops he's sending to Afghanistan, might he be thinking of those inevitable official inquiries into the conflict and to the conduct of the war that will follow in years to come? This is Ed Boyle for CBS News in London.